Welcome back, beautiful nesters. I hope you're blessed and doing well. There's always work that needs to be done on the homestead, so let's jump into it. The sugar magnolia and the sugar daddy sweet peas were coming in strong, so I had to continuously harvest so that they wouldn't get overgrown. When they overgrow, you know, you grow the little peas on the inside and they'll become a little bit more tough. I do like to save some of them for later and let them grow a little bigger to save seed, but I like to eat them when they're tender and small. I just tied up this plant because it was falling and then this branch broke off so we'll put that in the vase and these are the sugar snaps so far the harvest looking really good just sip on my coffee and that's that so yeah i just tied this up with some twine gave it some support because it's so full of blooms it's just really heavy this one needs to go up as well so i'll put that one up in just a minute we're gonna pull more seeds out today and wow look at the carrot it's huge so i'll go back there and pull the mustard green seeds today as well and the beans are needing some trellising as you can see the tendrils are starting to poke out of that blue lake. I'm hoping I didn't mistakenly plant the pole bean right there. But it's supposed to be a blue bush bean. Maybe they, um, I have never planted the bush bean um, blue lake before. So it may grow a bit taller. Um, but it may not just be a pole. It just may have to be trellised a little bit. Um, those are cabbage collar seeds there. So I'll be harvesting those as well. The celery has gone to seed, but still edible. And the okra is doing really good right in here. So I'm going to finish that up and I really need to get the rest of that corn planted. I'm really running behind on that. Okay guys, I just wanted to show you the morning glory that oh, self seeded and um, they're blooming. They open in the morning. They have a really pretty purpley blue bloom. Um, there are several different varieties, many different varieties of morning glories. So it's starting to grab onto the forget-me-nots here. Um, and I noticed I do have a lot of reseeded climbers in this bed. So I believe I'm going to be going to get a cattle panel for this area because it would definitely need to be trellis in this area really really soon and what I'm thinking is I'll let it come from this bed um, over to that bed and we'll let it just kind of go across all right guys so I am right now just putting some little tomato trellises up for these um, Blue Lake 274 bush beans because that's what the pack said and they are really really the tendrils are pretty I don't know can you guys see this can you see what they're doing I just kind of started wrapping them up so the sun's kind of bright so I can't see what's going on all right so that's what I'm doing and I think that these should hold them pretty well time for a new hat guys you might see me a new hat real soon all right so i have the boys out here with me they're helping me get wood chips all in these rows because it looks like we might have some rain coming up real soon maybe in a few days or so hopefully hopefully i don't know i haven't looked at the forecast i'm just going off of what i see and what i smell you know what i'm saying all right guys so we're gonna do that and then I'm going to water the garden. That's what I was trying to think of. I'm going to water the garden. But first guys, before I water the garden, I decided to plant some more 
beans because I'm secession sowing these beans I'm gonna plant the yellow variety and some more red burgundy and I have some asparagus beans to plant around my teepees Well, that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you give it a thumbs up if you like it, and I hope you do. Subscribe if you're new, and share this video if you want to, and we will see you on our next video. Bye, guys. Thank you.